I'm Robert Field with the Orange County Register and welcome to OCN2 for Wednesday, March 11th. A red Ferrari crashed into a light pole in Newport Beach early this morning, killing the driver and injuring a passenger. Southbound Jamboree Road near the 73 freeway is closed and is not expected to reopen until around noon. The accident on Jamboree near Camelback Street was reported just before 1 a.m. Authorities say the Ferrari crashed into a light pole, causing the pole to topple onto the luxury Italian sports car. Firefighters declared the driver dead at the scene. His name was not immediately released. A second victim ejected from the crash was taken to a hospital following the accident. Her condition was not immediately reported. A tiny La Habra cul-de-sac was jammed with paparazzi, TV cameras, neighbors, and onlookers Tuesday, hoping to see Nadia Sulman, the mother of octuplets who has become a recent media sensation. The frenzy was the result of news that Sulman was moving from her home in Whittier to this home in La Habra on Madonna Lane. When Sulman showed up late in the afternoon, a crowd swarmed her as though she were Britney Spears. Neighbors expressed concern about their street safety and admitted some neighbors are very unhappy about the attention surrounding their street. Earlier in the day, Sulman appeared on the Dr. Phil show, saying she plans to move to the La Habra home in the next few days, bringing her six older children and two of the octuplets who are ready to be released from the hospital. Sulman told Dr. Phil the home is practical and would work for a few years until her 14 children outgrew it. Planned Parenthood should not receive county funding for its health outreach programs because it also performs abortions, which are morally wrong. That's what Orange County supervisors said Tuesday morning when they unanimously decided to suspend a contract with the nonprofit organization amid an hours-long debate about abortion rights and county contracting policies. John Dunn, president of Planned Parenthood of Orange in San Bernardino, argued that eliminating the funding which does not pay for abortion services but funds education outreach programs will result in more unintended pregnancies and more abortions in Orange County. The county's contract with Planned Parenthood was approved through a $7.5 million agreement with the Orange County Coalition of Community Clinics and funded through tobacco settlement revenue. The board's vote was to stop funding the portion of that agreement that goes to Planned Parenthood in 30 days and instead allow the county's health care agency to find an alternative clinic who might use the money. Freeway call boxes are falling victim to cell phones. The Orange County Transportation Authority will remove about half of its existing 585 call boxes in Orange County in the coming months. In the early 90s, as many as 90,000 calls were made in Orange County annually from the yellow phone boxes. Now an average of 17 people a day phone in from the boxes for roadside assistance. In 2008, only 7,306 people used the freeway call boxes. And you can read more about all of these stories and get your breaking news all day at ocregister.com.